Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video. And in this one, I'm going to be using... I know. I know. <laughs> I usually don't do this. Okay. But, there's a 50% gear cost, removal cost. Like, you got to use this. There's only 13 hours, so I have to use it wisely. And I usually like to build and play the game, you know, Raid the way it's built. However it may be. But of course, everybody uses different tools, different uh, sources to help make their experience better. Um, I don't need other things to do this, but I do like to see a second opinion. And I'm going to be using the Hell Hades Optimizer tool. Now, I've noticed that it's not perfect. You can find better builds without it, but it tries its best to optimize your gear. Um, with the best indications that you've put on the site, right? So I'm actually going to go with, I have a few champions that I really want to like optimize to the max. Now we did this last time. If you recall, we did it with Foley. Um, I pushed, I went for a plat push. I didn't record it. I should have recorded it and then put it on YouTube, but it, you know, I did it on stream. It was pretty crazy. Um, it taught me a lot like, um, it's probably for another video, but basically, let's get straight into it. So I made Foley way bit way better with the optimizer. Before he was like 45, he was like 220, and I was able to kind of like switch out like some things and get him in Savage. I was very happy. I I hurt a few people's gear, like I think it was like Ray had to switch one and some other champions, but nothing too crazy. But I'm actually willing. I'm willing now to destroy. Even my dungeons, because I'm actually thinking of creating a whole new dungeon teams. People are always like, oh, your minutes, like your, your dungeons are like, what, two minutes. Okay. Or maybe like two, 230, 240. Woo. Everybody else is like, I got like 130, 140, 120, you know, non seer comp or, um, customizable seer comp. And you know me, I'm stubborn. I'm not going to build seer till I get a Kaimar ever. You know, so I still have my, uh, I still have my seer in sleep and technically not even geared because I don't even care. So, um, so in this situation, I know, I notice I have a crazy ninja who has almost 5k. He doesn't have a hundred percent crit rate though, because I wanted him in savage for, for PVP, but it's still not enough. I don't like not having hundred percent. It's kind of weird. You lose like five minutes. Uh, five seconds on certain runs. But I, for some reason, I want to really, really re-gear Candy again. But this time, not myself. Right? So I want to try it out and see what, see, see what we get. Yes, I have a second one. <laughs> Couldn't believe I... I got another one. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna focus on going, making sure we get 100%. But I want max. I don't even care about the speed, honestly. Like I do for speed tuning, but I have a team now that um that can shut down people right with warlord. So why do I even have to go? If my one shot is enough, as long as someone doesn't lap me. Most Mithralers are going what, like what? Let's say like two, 220 to 270. So as long as I don't get lapped of the difference. So 220 times two would be 440. So as long as my 100 and let's say 170, we didn't get, it would get lapped once, but not like double. You don't want to be like so slow, like like 110, where someone's going 220, 300, and then you, you have to like worry that Oh man, I'm about to get a turn. Nope, actually they're going to get like a, another whole turn and a, half, and a half. And if they boost, they get two more turns before you even take your first. You don't want that. So like, that's the only thing they have to technically worry about when I'm trying to push, I guess you could say. Uh, so I'll, I'll go a little bit, like six, and we'll see what we get here. I want to prioritize uh, in Savage set though. Let me see. Maybe, you know, it's, it's going to try to pull it off. Foley, so I have to be careful for that. 
other than that, I think it should be all right. Uh, I guess I gotta see the crit rate. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's see what it gives me. All right. So look, look at the crit, crit rates. We got somewhat a hundred percent here, but not really. So I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna go back and just prioritize the crit rate a little bit more. Let Let's say thirteen. We're getting closer, a lot closer. So yeah, so I guess we we'll have to go all the way. I guess fifteen. That should be fine. Now it's probably doing a lot of math. <laughs> it's, trying to, it's trying to get like all the exact gear. Like it's so hard for it to get the hundred percent crit rate, right? We only got three. So I guess we really have to go all the way. <laughs> oh man. Looks like it came up with the same three like from before. So let's see the pieces. I'm curious. So we got 102, 105, and 101. The 101 has almost 6k attack, right? The 105 has five point, almost basically same. They're all the same attack. The only difference is the crit rate goes up, up and then the crit damage is is actually one percent. <laughs> so, hmm, what am I getting the difference? I'm actually getting speed. So this this 105 one gives me I get more crit. But how? How am I actually wait, maybe it's the HP that's changing. Okay. I don't know, I'd rather prioritize an extra eight speed. And you get more attack and you get more crit. Is that a mastery? Because I can change the mastery. So if we come here, we got one on ninja, one on uh Rowan. One on Foley, two on Foley, one on Bushi, and then some other piece. And then we're able to use Candy and Allure's Ring. And that's how we're able to do it. So now I have to ask myself, am I willing to take off Foley's uh, glove and his shield, respectively? Honestly, no. <laughs> um, I can't do that. So I just built a Bushi for other means, right? Now, without using savage right because my my candy's not in savage right now what if i reset this and tell it to just any set right using the same exact stats what stats can i get now that's what i'm curious about can i get even more attack will it use the attack sets you know maybe i'll get less maybe we'll get more crit damage Ooh, the crit damages are high i'm liking some of them Mm. The crit rates, though, <laughs> the crit rates are so low. <laughs> okay, I, it looks like that one. I'm getting tons of speed too. I'm actually getting speed tuned a little bit, which is nice. Mhm. Mm Look at that one. This one looks. Oh damn! It changed for a second. It was. It was so close. Only forty-one percent completed. Dang, it's getting every single possible. Hey, give me the best. All right, I'll take the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I bet it's going to use lots of, um, like, lots of uh, crit damage sets. Maybe we might get some fatal sets. Things I haven't been using. If we used previously, look what I built, right? I had literally only two-piece crit damage and a bunch of offsets that had crit rate. He had a five-star... Look at that five star immortal crit damage gloves just because it had it it had the attack percentage and speed and crit rate. So he's also using here five star banner with attack. So there there's room. He's also using a five five star attack percentage chest piece, I just noticed. But hey, let's see what we got here. Ooh. A 130. That looks juicy. Oh my god. <laughs> so we just jumped up. If we look previously, right? My candy had 5,000 attack. Now he can actually 
Uh, we're going to lose a ton of speed, probably like, what, 49 speed? But we're gaining almost 1,000 attack, 68% crit damage, no crit rate. Somehow we're getting resistance and accuracy, okay, and some defense. We're going to lose um, some HP as well, which is kind of sad because you don't want to lose anything when you're building. So maybe we, maybe we can see something else. This one... You can actually go like this, and you can see on the left, like over here, it's going up and down, negative and positive values. Mm. This one will lose so much speed, much as much speed. I kind of want to see this. Okay, it's very similar gear that I'm taking off people again. What about this one? Huh. Honestly? I might... I might just go with this one. I might just go with this one. This one is kind of like... It gives you the 50... I only get like an, an extra... Almost 800 attack. Uh, 69 crit, da crit damage more. I only lose 38 more speed compared to what I had. So, yeah, it's not bad. We get tons of crit damage, tons of attack. We actually get defense. We just lose HP and speed. That's pretty much what it does. And it grabs it off, off other champions. So, we're losing five pieces from other champions that I built. So, so that's if I were going to do my Kandra fund, that's what it would be. Um, Compared to what I originally built my Kandraf on. So I built him for a little bit more speed. And, you know, to balance all that all out. And that's what end, ended up happening. So you can lose one stat and get two other major stats. So if I was going second, uh, that would be better. But since I'm trying to go, like, first or at least, like, right after. Um, so that's, that making me, that's making me wonder if I should. Right? Now let's look at my King Garog. My King Garog is just, he's kind of an uh, old build. He is wearing Savage, though. Um, but I'm trying to see if there's any way I can actually get him slightly better. <clears throat> and honestly, I don't even need need that much speed. Like, I might... I could, I could keep it the same. I could keep it the same, honestly. And I don't need no accuracy. If there's any way I can make King Garog better, this would be the way. Because I actually built him with accuracy, right? I don't want him to have accuracy at all. Um, I'm not going to use any other, other artifacts that I have. Yeah. Now, let's see. I'm curious. It's not going to take as long. Because I think um, we've kind of already looked through. But if I could actually make Princess Garog way better, this would be nuts. Because um, I'm actually thinking of using Foley, Kandrafon, Vlad, and King Garog. King Garog, dude, he can smack. Uh, and since, since they buffed him, and I was using him before they buffed him. A lot of people have been putting way too many buffs, and I'm hating that. I just want to rip right through them, you know? Um, this one's looking pretty good here. This one's kind of savage. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Didn't mean to say that, but like that. Let's look at this one. So we're sacrificing the act. Looks like this time we're... Ooh, we're taking off candy. We can't do that. But technically... Hmm. Let's try this one. Keeps wanting to take off candy. It's taking off Tila Gourmet. I'm not using Tila as much as I used to. So apparently this shield... A crit damage is really good. And they're trying to take it off. But I really want to change him. Because look, look at the difference when I put when I cover over. We're looking at almost 2,000 attack. And what? 82% crit damage more. <laughs> like just, th <laughs> just think about that. Like, wouldn't that be worth? Like, I already built Tyre. I already used her. Bistafis, he's only for faction wars. 
Bellower, pretty much for faction wars. Cupidus, it is a lot of crit rate, but that if you look at the piece separately, it's not really doing much. It's flat attack, resistance does nothing. It's that it's basically a cruel set that has two stats, right? But if you combine everything with a 15% extra attack plus um, the penetration, right, you get 5% more. Hmm. So that's the results I got. This is something like I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go through more in depth because it could it, this could take like two hours. You know, I start breaking down, okay, what am I willing to sacrifice between Foley or this champion and Valiant? And I start just having to rebuild so many champions. But since since I built so many, you know, it's like I can't. I, you can always just keep borrowing, and then you can just take put it back. But what's the point of that? If they had, if Plarium actually had a way that in game we could have like a preset artifact choose, where you could be like same way like presets, where it's like, hey, I want this saved version of all these artifacts. And, art and and accessories on this champion, and I'm willing to pay to re-equip them. That would be insane. We need something like that, cause then I then I'm okay with removing pieces that I'm gonna forget about. You know, there's some pieces you don't forget about because they're stacked. But I can't remember every single piece of my account. I have tons. So, what about you, Raiders? Are you gonna be using the optimizer? Are you gonna be re-gearing your champions during this 50%? Uh, reduced uh gear removal cost i definitely am i'm going to be still prepping my champs for another plat push not this week um because i still got to get warlord speed i gotta get another speed champion it's a lot it's probably going to cost me like 50, 50 million silver and i don't have enough so not yet so all right thank you raiders and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye